for you? Um, it was just the way the kicker kicked it. Uh, he's an Australian kicker. Yeah. Um, we have Danny. Uh, our team is an Australian kicker, and I talked to him a lot about you know technique and how he kicks. Yeah. Um, he doesn't kick like a regular traditional rugby kicker. Yeah. Uh, he kicks it like a knuckleball. He kicks it with no spin, so the ball actually it has his mind of its own. So in the air, you can't really judge it as easy as uh, some of the other punts that flip end over end or spiral. Yeah. Um, so I kind of had a rough time trying to get a gauge of how it came off his foot uh, because that's something new, something I've never seen before. Uh, so it kind of gave me a whirl on my first one. Yeah. But, uh, I started to click and I started to get used to it. Does it catch you surprise? I mean, can you can you possibly be prepared for something like that? Or um, unless you unless you have a person who can kick just like <laughs> just that, like it, that. It, it sneaks it sneaks up on you. Yeah. A lot of uh, punt returners, um, you know, read and judge balls every day in practice. I do it every day in practice. Um, but you know, I have Blake. Blake kicks spirals, and that's just his technique. He kicks traditional punt. Yeah. Um, but the way the game is now with the uh, Australian punters and the way they're kicking, uh, it's just a new type of style that uh, has a punt returner. Got it used. Now for the good stuff. You uh, you made a pretty big catch there down on the down at the uh, the goal line. Can you describe what happened on the play? Uh, yeah, I had a, a go route, a lot go route. Uh, and it was man to man, and I knew I had to beat my guy because I knew Trace uh, was looking at me, and I was a first read. Um, and there was only two reads on the play, which was me and my go, and I think Ham was running a, a deep over. Um, so I knew it was my opportunity to shine, um, and I looked at Trace before that play in the huddle, um, and I just gave him a quick nod. He gave me a quick nod and went out there. Um, you know, I gave my man a man move at the line, uh, beat him, uh, made sure, stacked him and everything, and I read the ball, uh, traced through, um, and I just made a correction to my uh, to my catch. So, to to, uh, to come out of this season with a win? Yeah, I mean, you, <laughs> no matter what happens in the game, as long as my team's happy, we came out with a win and we did our job, uh, that's all you can really ask for. Does, does it feel like any vindication or unfinished business from, from last year, just kind of how that, that season ended compared to this? Uh, I mean, last year is last year. Once, once the Rose Bowl kind of ended, we uh, we focused on this year. We didn't, you know, we had that that chip on our shoulder from last year, but uh, you know, we never focused on what. Happened. This is a, a new year. This is something that uh, all these guys uh, work for and are going to set their foot and their and their mark on this year and this year alone. Um, so you know, we did have our ch on the chip on our shoulder, and we knew, uh, you know, last year we kind of didn't come out with a win, but. Uh, just how we approach any game, we come out uh, and, and expect the win, and we're gonna do everything it takes to win. I, I've been asking this to a couple of you guys, like the older guys, the guys that have been through this a little bit, and you, you've been here from when it wasn't quite as good through the ascent. Do you, do you have a, a sense of appreciation for how hard it's gonna be That's to, to keep this going, like to keep this level of success going, as, like as a program, not just you individually, but for the program to kind of keep it at this level? Uh, you know, that just comes with uh, the seniors and how they how they trickle down to the freshmen. Um, and that's something that, you know, guys like him, Chris, uh, in a receiver room, you know, when we came in uh, or when they came in, um, they set a standard. Uh, and everybody who came in with my class, the class before me, Jawan's class, and even the freshman class now, um, they have to step up to that standard. Um, and, that, and that's how it is in every position room, and that's how it is as a team. Uh, and, and that's just how you got to approach every year. You know, you got to come out, uh, you got to set a standard, and you got to meet that standard and not to come out dilly dally and, and hope stuff goes a certain way. No, like we come out, we expect the win, we expect we expect our defense to shut them down. Like that's just our standard, and then we're gonna meet that, uh, whatever, whatever it takes. Do you, do you get to take a little bit of time to enjoy this stuff first before you get back to that that grind? <laughs> yeah, we get a little bit, but you know the grind never stops. Um, you know, it, it's a it's a new season. Uh, so once this day is over, it's a new season. Um, so you got to prepare and look back at this whole year, what you did wrong, what you did right, um, and just come back even stronger.